Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah Halal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself uh, a wonderful uh, day Before I get it started guys I just wanted to share with you guys this cool uh, app It's called Pi Network And it's giving uh, away free cryptocurrency uh, So check them out It's Pi Network And you can use my uh, code Which is Mr. Halal YT Using that code will get give you one free Pi uh, coin And then after that you can continuously mine uh, free coins So uh, check them out And uh, yeah with that said We in today's video will be reacting to uh, inaudible and invisible Indonesia's uh, special forces this video was suggested by Ken's AS Termakase thank you very much for taking the time to send me a recommendation and suggestion the video is by uh, Ganza channel and the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out so inshallah we'll get started with the video in just a couple of uh, seconds and at the end of the video I'll share with you guys my observation and reaction so if you want to see it then please stay until uh, the end of the video with that said now let's get started Ganza channel. Oh, that's cool. It just, wow. So precise and just on point. Ooh. Have you known Sat Galter 81? The secret elite force formed by Prabhupo Sabrianto and Lihad Panjaitan? The squad is completely secret. Wow. Because of the secret, even the family did not know their duties. Wow. Not many know. The Special Forces Command, which is shortened to Kopassus, ah. which is part of the main combat command, which is owned by the Indonesian Army. The Indonesian Army actually has an elite troop called Sat 81. Even the Sat 81 is said to be the best Kopassus team. Which has been known to have special abilities, wow. such as moving fast in every field, shooting with precision, reconnaissance, and anti-terror. Crazy. One Copassus, or formerly known as AT-81, Galter, is a unit in Copassus which is at the same level as the group, and is the best soldier of all Indonesian National Army soldiers, wow. headquartered in Sejantung, East Jakarta. Just like the Indonesian equivalent of Navy SEALs. It's not published regarding the number of personnel, nor the type of weaponry it has. All of it is kept secret. The current Dansat 81, Kopassus, is occupied by Colonel Infili Brodasios Rohati. It must be noted that in the past few years, the term Galter has been removed from this unit, not without cause, but because the qualifications it possess are more than overcoming terror. Starting with the analysis of international network intelligence, in the years 1970-1980 which was increasing. In 1970, the head of the Center for Strategic Intelligence, ordered a study visit to other anti-terror units in KCT, Netherlands, SAS, UK, KSG-9, Grenzatsgrupp, Germany, West Germany, US Special Force, United States. On March 28, 1981, there was a hijacking of a DC-9 Grudoyla aircraft at Don Muang Airport, Bangkok, Thailand. As ordered by the Research and Development Agency for the Indonesian Ministry of Defense, General M. Juzyuf, Kopassus was ordered to carry out operation to free hostages on airplanes, and OPS Basra was oh, wow, they went to Thailand? Anticipating the rampant hijacking of aircraft in the era of the 1970s, 80s, a brief head of Strategic Intelligence Agency, BAI, Lieutenant General Indonesian National Army, Pounds Moerdini, established a new unit at the level of a detachment within Kopassanda. On June 30, 1982, wow. the Kopassanda Detachment 81 Anti-Terror Unit, then 81, Kopassanda, through decree number, SCAP, 4, Vive, 1982 dated June 30, 1982, which was the first anti-terror unit in Indonesia, with the first commander major in. Lehat bin Srapanjaitan with the deputy captain, in Sabi Intel. The two officers were sent to specialize in counter-terrorism to the German GSG-9, Grenzatsgrupp 9, and upon their return to Indonesia they were entrusted with selecting and training co-passenger soldiers who were appointed to Dan 81. 
Unit 81 wow. is the spearhead of the defense and security of the Republic of Indonesia. Unlike other units which constantly expose their activities, Unit 81's vision and mission are, to be unknown, inaudible and invisible. <laughs> the desire to establish Dan 81, was actually inseparable from the hijacking of the Garuda DC-9 Mayala plane at Don Muang Airport, Bangkok, March 31, 1981. The troops that succeeded in liberating Mayala became the embryo of Dan 81 members, and were later replaced again. To become Unit 81 Copassus. Dan 81 was split into Prop 5, Anti-Terror, during the 1995-2001 Copassus period, and on June 6, 2001, Cap. 12, Vi. 2001, there was a change in organization, I from Crop 5, Anti-Terror Copasis to SAT-81 Galter Copasis, and is now the 81 Copasis Unit. Unit 81 is, is, is one of the most progressive armed organizations in the world. The Unit 81 is the second unit in the world after the GSG-9, to use the HK MP5 assault rifle, and other Heckler & Koch products. In addition, Unit 81 is also a pioneer in the use of Baton, as an alternative explosive to C4 and Simtech. Upon returning to headquarters, the soldier will be upgraded to see the possibility of promotion, assignment to the Sandy Yada unit or the anti-terror unit. For anti-terrorism, Education is carried out at the Batajaj R Special Battle School Training Unit. Overall, it can be ascertained, that SAT-81 was involved in every covert military operation, carried out by the armed forces of the Republic of Indonesia, and then continued by the Indonesian National Army. As for the operation, Republic Indonesia in the North, it was alleged that a SAT-81 platoon, had been assigned to the East Kalimantan border for long-distance reconnaissance patrols, long-range recon mission. It was also reported that the SAT-81 element had also been deployed to pursue Norton M. Top and his friends. Until now, the anti-terror Unit 81 was one of the BIN, National Intelligence Agency, apparatus in special operations of a paramilitary nature. Wow. Being a member of the counter-terrorism unit, Unit 81 co passes is not easy. The test is very difficult, because every SAT-81 member must have extraordinary abilities. SAT-81, which contains selected people, is an elite unit of the Special Forces, Indonesian Army. There are at least four tests that must be passed, in the selection process as a oh, member test. of the SAT-81 co -passes. The recruitment process for counterterrorism soldiers begins. When a soldier has finished attending para and commandos education in Badajinja. After graduating from this education, they were then placed in Group 1 and Group 2 combat units, to get to orientation or gain experience in operations. From that, soldiers who want to join the elite Galta unit must pass several stages with a high level of difficulty. First is the IQ test which must be above an average of 110. Stakes 2 is a standard assessment on medical tests, with conditions that, despite having abnormalities, or mild disease, the disease does not interfere with bodily functions. While the BS category in the physical test means that the person has a very good body. For the Pantukur test itself, soldiers will usually be deployed in the field to determine their level of ability. Those culture soldiers have to be highly specialized. Among them are shooting ducks and free fall or free fall. They also have squads with special ability specifications, namely the Toad Squad Team, and the K-9, Johan Dak Group. Toad Squad? K-9, yeah, but what's the Toad Squad? ...that are highly respected by the world, thanks to the abilities they have, which are not necessarily owned by other special forces. Wow, guys, that's crazy. So Unit 81 is within the cool passes and uh, they're basically inaudible and invisible. Nobody knows who they are because they cover their faces and not even uh, their family because they go in a situation where uh, it's high risk and, um, you know, they have to basically, you know, for example, they said the hostage situation in Thailand, 
than any other one uh, you know they don't when they don't want anybody to know that they're going to be doing a mission they send these guys in because they're highly skilled and like they said there's four tests it's uh, basically iq and then uh, your bodily like uh, physically fit and then a couple other like on the field making sure you're specialized and um you know you're able to basically use the weaponry and your accuracy is pretty good so really really interesting guys it's i didn't know that i knew about the copasses but i didn't know about unit 81 so thank you very much for suggesting it i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video you can put your suggestions in the comment section below as always guys terima kasih thank you very much shukri merci guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care